Let's have some fun with this water heater. trap on the second floor you can see that there's still galvanized water lines but if you look at this stud ooh, look at that beautiful termite damage I'm at a new construction house today and have some interesting finds so this is a double pane window but the double second pane is not there and they just cocked the window in place and then over here these outlets have the ground and the hot wire reversed buyer wants to know what the fibrous material that's coming off the stucco it looks like they painted over it when they applied it it's in various locations. And I pull one piece off and it's, it's fibers. Almost looks like fiberglass. I was gonna use my shower pan tester, but it's not drained. So I guess I don't need to. Just kidding, we're still gonna plug it. This outdoor patio beam that goes this way comes into the property only supported by one stud. Uh, recommended for some mortar improvements, but that went a little overboard. <laughs> Oh, got some weather slipping issues on the primary bedroom door. Hmm. So, door sticking up here. There's a nice stress crack going along the top up there. Nice gap right there. And the bathtub. The bathtub is pulling away from the wall, from the floor. That's pretty interesting. And then this window here is ready to fall out. It's pulled away. And then there's some more doors not latching properly and out of square. I thought that was interesting. Well, Looky what we have here. That's all the way through.
floor by this construction. Inside my crawl space today, we have found some termite tubes. Dun dun dun. Turned on the air conditioner. And that's what happened. Right, guys, got one for you. Uh, so low window, already called that out, but the window window opens out to this kind of quasi balcony. It's not, doesn't look like it's designed to be used as walking on, but still somebody could get on it. The railing is not attached at either of the out exterior points there. And it's pulling away from the brick there. And we also have standing water. Downtown Houston this morning. Beautiful morning. Checking out a brand new roof. Got a little flashing damage. A little roof damage. Got some pitting happening right there. Got some more damage. More damage. And you guessed it. More damage. Some damage. Uh, seems to be a, going all the way down. All the way down, and more damage. So right here, the slope of this roof is too low. It measured at a half inch, and 12 feet. It should have a flat roof material. Same thing with that little bit of roofing also. It's too, it's not steep enough. But over here, on the steep part, we got the flat roof material. This goes over there and there. Checking out a water heater and a duplex. That's a pretty interesting way to route the flue. This is a pretty typical bathroom. We need some grout improvements. Uh, the shower head looks a little loose. It's not functioning very well. It's just kind of dripping. Um, we do have galvanized piping in place. We've got some previous repairs. And the toilet's a little loose. At the base, tank's a little loose. Let's see how well it's going to. It's got a good solid flush though. Some of these older houses, I like to go around and tap the side and see what falls out. Sometimes you hit the jackpot. Bear with me. Hate it. It's 
drywood termite brass. The sprinkler spraying the concrete. Seeing the thermal skin in the garage, you're not seeing any signs of moisture in this wall, but there are some signs of patching and painting right here. It's kind of an odd place for some patching and painting, so I got out my handy dandy moisture meter, did a did a quick scan. And I found this wet spot. I found the wet spot because it lines up with this uh, this hang down with the flashing light missing on this side. You can't see it very well on the video, but right up here there's a big gap. So moisture's been coming in there for quite a while. This toilet. Cracking me up. Walking around the exterior of this property, it's about gas. At the gas meter. Look at the size of that backflow preventer. I've never seen one that big. This pool is missing nasty. So I have returned to this house for a phase three, a final inspection. I was here for the phase two, and this window was broken then, and it is broken still. I don't think they want to replace it. The stucco is above the window sill. It's been sealed. It's been sealed. You can kind of see it right there. What could go wrong? So my friend told me he's moving in tomorrow and I just leak tested one of his bathtubs. Uh oh. some hardy siding in place. This is the substrate underneath 